Hey guys, it's Daredevil Coaster Riders, and today, you guys might be noticing, I have a Cedar Point 10 year plan, and I'm predicting what is going to happen in the next 10 years of Cedar Point, what's going to be at being added to the park, or what is going to bite the dust to that year or get removed. So, here are my predictions for the next 10 years, from 2021 to 2030, so... Let's get into it, and let's go back 10 years, which would be 2011. In 2011, they got Windseeker, which was a swing ride, which goes above 300 feet to see the park. And now in 2012, they received Dinosaurs Alive, which is a new attraction that goes on the island around that Millennium Force takes up a bit, so... And also, that year, Disaster Transport closes for good, because I'll get to why it closes, and also Space Spiral closes also. I'll get to why those rides close, but in 2013, Zero, um, Zero Point adds their next roller coaster, Gatekeeper. It would have been six years after Maverick in 2007, so, and I think this would be a good addition to the park. And it is, and it makes it the world's first tallest, longest wing coaster, most inversion. So, now going to 2014, they do a Gemini Midway expansion. They added Lake Erie Eagles and the Pipe Scream, which is a good fit for the park since they didn't have stuff like, things like that. And also, they added Slingshot, which is by the entrance of Gemini and by the railroad crossing. So, and also that year, Mantis closes down for good, and I'll get to why it closes, and Turnpike Cars close also, which I will get to in a second, but also in 2015 is when the park reopens Mantis as Rougarou, which becomes the world's first, what, uh, the BNM Floorless Coaster. And a lot of people say it's better, but there's still some haters of it around the world. So now, also, Shoot the Rapids closes also because it has a ton of technical issues. And so they just left that area a bit um, vacant for a while, but I'll get to why. But in 2016, Turnpike Cars come back. Just kidding, they don't. Valhaven takes over that land, and it becomes the world's fault. First dive, co first hyper drive dive coaster, and it's the tallest in the world at that time in 2016. And also, Mean Streak closes for good in 2016. I'll get to why it closes. But in 2017, Zero Point works with their water park, turning from Soak City into Zero Point Shores, and it's a good th thing that they did to the park to make it water park to make it look better, and it did. Made it look nicer, and they added some new slides in that area, new restaurants, so I think that was a good addition to the water park. And now to 2018, Mean Streak reopens. Just kidding, Rocky Mountain Construction came in and turned Mean Streak into Steel Vengeance, which becomes the world's first RMC hyper coaster, which becomes successful, but then... Things changed, went weird during like the beginning of the season. Then halfway through, they banned phones, and then they allowed phones again with pouches in 2019. Also, 2018 showed the closure of Witch's Wheel and Dinosaurs Alive close also to make way for a new expansion. And now in 2019, they add pouches to Steel Vengeance and Metal Detectors, and for Van Frontier replaces Dinosaurs Alive on Adventure Island, and then it, it only lasted for one year, but I'm pretty sure a lot more people are going to come to see what it's like, so, and also in 2019, two new restaurants came, Backbeat Q, that went to the spot of Witch's Wheel, I don't know why just that they decided to put a, a restaurant on a, in a, on a, a location of a ride, and Hugo's, which replaces Midway Market, so, and now in 2020, things 
become crazy because 2020 is their 150th anniversary. They bring back Snake River Expedition since they removed for Dinosaurs Alive, which didn't even last that long. They also introduced the Gold Pass, which ended up pretty badly since Zero Point had to kick people out of the park. But a lot of people say it's worth the uh, money they had. So, And now also, in 2020, they brought two new restaurants, which have not even opened, which I know that they brought. And they also have a new parade for the year to celebrate for their 150th anniversary. Because I think this um, celebration is going on for two more years. So, And now... That means we get to 2021, and these are the next 10 years are my opinion of what I think is going to be coming to each of these Cedar Fair parks. So, if you have something to say, leave it in the comments down below, and I'll respond to that maybe if I feel like it. Now, I think 2021 is going to be Cedar Point's next major year. It's going to be their second year of their 150th anniversary, and I think they sh in 2021 they're going to be getting the B&M Flying Coaster. Why do I say that? Because they have an open spot of land, and I'll get I'll say why. Because if you guys seen Cedar Point's 2020, 2019 Christmas video, there was a part that had top secret plans for 2021, and there is a seagull next to it. And I think that means it's going to be a flying coaster because seagulls fly, and it's going to be a BNM. So that is why I think it's going to be a BNM flying because of this. Like right here, and also I'll in the area. If you guys see right here, I have this area marked in red. And if you guys notice this, this would be the roadway because they would have to take up this whole area of the road, and they'll have to relocate this entrance. Would be a big problem, but maybe they'll try to fix it up. So, and now right here. The station would go where my mouse is going, and then I'm pretty sure lift chain, then just whatever it wants to do. So, and I think that would be a good addition to the park, a good area to place it. So, now let's get to, sorry about that, 2022. It's going to be their final year, their 150th anniversary. And for that, I think they're going to be getting a new thrill ride. I don't know what type of thrill ride they would get, because... There's a lot of type of thrill rides around the world, and it would be really hard to say, oh, they should get this, oh, they should get that. I don't know what they're going to get, and that's why I put new thrill rides, so. Now, in tw and also I'm going to have to say in 2022, that's going to mark Corkscrew's closure, because I'm pretty sure around that time, Corkscrew is going to reach the end of its service life, and I'm pretty sure you've heard that Cedar Fair... It said that they're going to start removing attractions. They seem unpopular or are hard to maintain. So and I'm pretty sure this would be a good contender to get the axe. So, yeah. If you have anything to say, please say in the comments. So, now 2023. They're going to... I'm pretty sure this year is going to be like a fix-up year since they had like last two crazy years since... They had a 150th anniversary, so I think in 2023 I can see some improvements to their roller coasters, maybe a new ride in Planet Snoopy, and I'm pretty sure it would be cool if Rougarou gets new ride restraints because I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't like the head banging on that ride since, and I'm pretty sure they could go for the vest restraints, so you never know what they'll get, but I think it would be good for them because. A lot of people say those vest restraints are okay on those rides on Rougarou, I mean, Gatekeeper and Val Raven, so maybe Rougarou could get them, but you never know in the future, so. Now to 2024, I think it's going to be their next big year, because there have been, I think what they're going to be getting is going to be an Infinity Coaster. Why do I say that? Because they have removed one of their old roller coasters, and I think this would be a good addition to the park, a multi-looping coaster, and it maybe would break the most records in North America, and I think that'd be good for them. Or they could go for the inversion record, 15 or 16 if they feel like going for that many. And where, where would they place it? Well, this would have been a couple of years since they would, three years after they'd be an flyer, so... Place in the land of corkscrew because they would just remove the roller coaster by that then.
by that time. So, I think that would be good for the park. And also, I'm going to have to say, 2024 is going to be Cedar Creek Mine Ride last real year because I'm pretty sure by that time it's going to reach the end of its service life. And if you remember saying, me saying Cedar Point is removing attractions, they seem unpopular, hard to maintain. I'm pr and I'm pretty sure this one's going to get the axe that year. So now going, and also I'm going to have to say Snake River Falls is also going to close in 2024. And I'll get to why. So now going to 2025, it would have been another good year for Cedar Point after 2024. But in 2025, I think they are going to be adding a new thrill ride, like something like an observation tower, since they removed Space Spiral a long time ago. And I'm pretty sure this would be a good addition to the park. And have it go above like 500 feet to see the whole park. And I think that would be good. And also a new dark ride, maybe something like the Battle for Cedar Point dark ride. And I think that'd be a good addition, maybe put in where the arcade is. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would ride it. And now going to 2026, I think it's going to be our next big year. A GCI wooden coaster. And why do I say that? Because Cedar Point only has one wooden coaster, and I think this would be a good addition to the park. So... Like, remove, since they removed Cedar Creek Mine Ride and the, um, Snake River, and Cedar Creek Mine Ride and Snake River Falls, and I think they could, like, use the land, like, if you see my mouse right here, go around here, use the land right here, and I think that'd be a perfect addition to the whole park, because since they would like to add another wooden coaster, and I think it would look good, and I think this would be the stupidest thing, I'd say, make it a hyper coaster. GCI Hyper. I don't know if that would happen, but I'm just saying. Since the failed attempt of Son of Beast down in Kings Island, so. And also, um, in 2027, I think what they're going to be doing is they're going to be adding a big new slide in Cedar Point Shores since it would have been a long time after they invested in Cedar Point Shores, so. And I think this would be a good addition. Maybe if they remove one of their... Um, lazy rivers since they have two lazy rivers and I think it would go in the spot of one of the lazy rivers right there maybe the dirty one so and I'm also going to have to throw out in 2027 is going to mark the removal of Cedar Point's Gemini because if you guys noticed the last couple of years Cedar Point had pr trouble with Gemini because it's getting old and They've been running one side lately, so. And I'm pretty sure this would be a good idea to remove it so they don't have to, like, deal with, like, the maintenance costs, which are pretty high. So that's why I said remove Cedar Creek Mine Ride and Corkscrew the last couple of years because those would have reached the end of its service life, so. And now I'll go to 2028. I don't think they're going to do anything that big. Maybe they'll um, add new food, a new ride, maybe in Planet Snoopy. Planet Snoopy exp expansion. New food and a new restaurant. Because it, it would have been a long time since they added a new restaurant. So, and I think that would be good for the park. And I'm also going to have to throw out this. They're going to remove Iron Dragon because by that time, Iron Dragon is going to reach the end of its service life. And it's really hard to keep these types of roller coasters running because the company that manufactured it went out of business a long time ago. So and it's really hard to get parts for these types of rides since Arrow is dead. So I'm pretty sure... I'm not going to get to what would replace it, and I think that would be in like the 2030s, but I think in 2029, their next major, major year, they're going to get the RMC T-Rex, and they would put in the land of where the Gemini is, because I'm pretty sure that usually with Sierra Fair, they like to replace their old roller coasters that they remove quickly with a new one, so and I think this would be a good addition. And I'm pretty sure this would make Cedar Point with two Giga, with two RMCs, and it would be the first RMC Giga coaster. It would be the tallest RMC in the world. 
<clears throat> and why do I say that? Because Cedar Point would be the first park with two Giga Coasters. Since they added Millennium Force in 2000, and it would be 29 years later for an RMC Giga. So, T-Rex Giga. So, yeah. And now in 2030, this is going to be my last year I'm going to be talking. It's going to be a monorail to the park since Cedar Point is going to become pretty popular in the next couple of years and a lot more people are going to come. So, and I'm pretty sure they'll want to add like, new parking to the um, area. So, now I think a monorail would be good for that. Where would they put it? If you guys notice, like, somewhere around here, I don't know why I boxed that area, because... Somewhere around here so they can just send the train and then if you see right here send the train over To the front entrance. I'm pretty sure they'll do some renovations to the front entrance and then maybe expand it out up to the up here, so Yep, and then also Parking is gonna be only for people that are pass holders staying at the hotel breakers or campsite or disabled people because I'm pretty sure they People with tickets would have to take the monorail, so, and I think that'd be a good idea. And then parking would still be there, so. And now I'll be going back 10 years. Um, in 2021, they'll receive the BNM Flyer. 2022, it's going to be a new thrill ride year. 2023 is going to be do some coaster improvements. 2024, the Infinity Coaster. Then 2025, the thrill rides. 2026, the GCI Wooden Coaster. 2027 would be a new slide complex. 2028, new food, new rides, restaurant, and like Plant Snoopy expansion. 2029, the RMC T-Rex. And 2030, a monorail to the park. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that I said remove four coasters and add new four, four new roller coasters because if you guys noticed in... From 2010 to 2019, they added four new roller coasters and removed... Four new roll, four roller coasters. Like, well, they converted two of them. So, and I think in this decade they're gonna add four new roller coasters and remove four. So, so if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Also follow the Instagram, Daredevil underscore coasters, coaster underscore riders. If you guys like the new logo, please like it and follow the Instagram. See you guys in the next 10-year plan, which may be Kings Island, Carowinds, or Canada's Wonderland. Peace out.